female ever sent into space by China. Again, she is Liu Yang, a 33-year-old, very experienced pilot. And again, if all goes well with this mission, the Shenzhou 9 will dock with China's orbiting space laboratory, making China the third after the United States and Russia to complete a manned space docking. Uh, we're also told, though, as a precaution, in case of an emergency, one of the crew members will not board the lab in space, but will stay in the capsule. Uh, China first launched a man into space just in 2003. That followed by a two-man mission in 2005 and a three-man trip in 2008. Uh, and now here they are about to launch three people into space um, for a, a manned docking with the uh, unmanned, with the uh, lab that they have in space. So we're going to listen in as China counts down. We are within one minute of this launch from the Gobi Desert. So let's listen in to China count it down. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lifting off. A successful liftoff as China enters a new era in its space program, taking its first female into space. Let's listen some more. Drop off, that means uh, they will be on their own. Well, it's a nice liftoff. This and now we'll join our sister network, CNN USA, for more on their coverage of this launch. Conduct several experiments on, this, uh, on the Tiangong One or Heavenly Palace a space lab. Again, this is a bus side space lab. It's seen as a precursor to a permanent space station. And the uh, astronauts are all going to be um, in space for about two weeks. They're expected to conduct both technological experiments as well as scientific experiments. They're supposed to be uh, practicing docking the vessels manually while they're there and after those two weeks pass the uh, spacecraft is supposed to land back in northwest China in uh, the western grasslands so uh, this is what we're expecting and uh, once they come back I'm sure they're going to get a hero's welcome uh, because uh, they have been followed so closely and there's just been an outpouring of nationalism over this mm. space program and the ambitious projects that China has for space exploration. I do want to mention we want to welcome our, our viewers from around the world, our international viewers watching this uh, here from CNN International along with us. Eunice, how long will this mission take? When will